Hi everyone. Um, I'm working on a personal caddy for myself. Um, this is the bottom part. I cut this out of a cat food box, off of a cat food box. Um, and I painted it all white, just so, and then I painted it all black. <laughs> Excuse me, as you can see, it has two holes here in the back, which is fine. I just got a piece of foam board, and I painted that black as well, and I glued it on. So, in this caddy, I'm hoping to fit about 15 rolls, um, which I also have here. The, the largest, the medium, and then the small. Um, and I have five of each. Um, so, I'm going to cover these with paper using hot glue. Here's my trusty glue gun and my tacky glue, which is here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started, oh, uh, with the bottom I covered it with, um, wood paper that I had, I have a few sheets here, um, left, I'm not sure if you can see it, so anyway, I cut it and I put that on all four of the sides to make it look like a wood box, and then I got some black paint and I just went over all the tops. Um, and the sides as well, um, and also on the top to kind of give it, um, I don't know if you can see it, you can see like a distressed look almost. So that's what I did for the bottom. So now, I cut up some sheets of paper, I have this beautiful one, and I also have on the other side of that, these beautiful flowers. Um, I also have this, which is the same as this one, but it's just lighter. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so that's that one, and that's the lighter. I'm going to use a darker one because I want to kind of have some cohesion with the darkness of the wood box. I think this I'm just going to do um, either one or two of these. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to do one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that um, and show you guys. So with this, I just want to get a bead of hot glue. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just, and you don't want it all the way, I mean, some people might put it all the way to the end. I don't want mine all the way to the end. Um, so. Glue it down, I should say. And let that stick, and from there, so at the same time, I want to make sure. Area. 
and if you want, you can smooth it out. And it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have a good amount on there. Okay. So from there, you're just gonna roll it. side all down. Some people may prefer to use hot glue um, for this part. I'm not so much worried. too much glue I don't think <laughs> when it comes to these paper projects and any extra glue you can just wipe it off from me. And you, the awesome thing about these caddies is you can make them for anything. You can make them for kitchen uh, utensils, for spoons and knives if you want, or even just your big um, serving spoons like um, your spatulas or whatever. Um, you can use it for your makeup brushes, um, if you want to do a lot of makeup. Um, <clears throat> you can also do one um, for the bathroom, um, for like your toothbrushes, stuff like that. Um, but of course you're going to want to somehow make those, um, seal them and make them waterproof. So um, when they get wet they don't uh, get messed up. So there is one roll. It's got bits of glue on it, but that's fine. You just wipe that right off. Um, you can go ahead and smooth that all out. There. Um, and what I think I want to do is fold in the excess to give it a nice little um, rim. I need to clean off the tip of my tacky glue. It's getting a little too tacky. So squeeze it, squeeze it. There we go. 
It's coming out now. And I just put on the paper and I'm trying to find where I creased it and push that kind of in first. And I kind of don't want to push any side down all yet until I get it all in or all folded like that. And then I will go back to a spot and then start folding it in and go around. And as I do that, it smooths out and gives it a nice round rim, hopefully with no wrinkles. You might get a wrinkle or two, but that's fine. Don't dwell on the wrinkles. So I hope this is helpful and don't worry about all the extra glue that squeezes out. Because it's all going to dry clear. And it's going to give it a nice protective coat anyway. So once you think it's a little step down and it's not going to move. Um, there, there's your first tube. For your tray. I think it looks cute. Um, so moving on to the next, um, I definitely want to do this, um, I think I want to do two of them in this, um, live and love paper, for sure, I don't know if you can see that, it's very cool paper, so I'm going to do that. I'm um, just trying to get all this tacky glue off my hands. I'm going to do two big ones in that one. And then from there, I'll decide. I might do one in that, two in this one, and one in this one, and then one in this one. So I don't know, we'll see. But I have one of these cut out already. Here it is. I think that's going to be enough to fit around here. It's just a little shack. Yes, it is. I don't know why I give them such a tight squeeze. Um, I usually think I leave a little extra space, but sometimes it turns out that I didn't. Um, and this has a little perforated line on here. so. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off because I don't want that on my bottle or on my tube. And it was towards the top so I could actually left it and sold it in but it's fine. So of course I don't want it hanging all the way over the bottom. actually kind of cool too it just looks like um, lines of some sort so with that I want to make sure my live and love isn't upside down that will not be cool so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this whole thing in tacky glue Come, there it is. I mean, under I don't need it all the way at the top. I 
to do because I'm going to fold it down. So. Take the cube, make sure we're not upside down. Yes, we are. So we want to be this way. Make sure the tube is not upside down. Good. So let's stick this on. And then we'll bring it down. There we go. And we'll stick it all the way on. I'm going to roll it, roll it. There we go, roll it. There we go, smooth it out, smooth it out. <coughs> good, looks good. Okay, I'm just going to go through and finish off the rest, um, and then I'll be back. That'll probably be in a new video, though. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye.